Hey guys, we just landed in Tokyo. We've got nine hours and now it's time to hit the streets. Can we make it to Tokyo Sky Tree? Can we go to ramen at Ipuru and then make it to Shabu Shabu all in the nine hour window? Then make it back to the airport to make our Singapore flight? I don't know. The clock starts now. We just made it through customs and immigration in 30 minutes from the time we landed. We've stored our bags and now it's time to hit the streets. All right, you have multiple options for travel. The two main ones are gonna be the metro system or a taxi. We're choosing the taxi system because it cuts the travel time in half. If you're gonna take the, the subway line, it would be about an hour to get to your destination, to the, the heart of Tokyo. We're gonna take a taxi and get there in 30 minutes. We'll see you at Ipudu. All right, we just got to our first stop, Ipudu Ramen. 45 minutes it took us to get here. It was a little bit longer than normal because of traffic during the week. All right, fun fact about Ipudu Ramen. It was actually founded in 1985 in Fukuoka, Japan. Fukuoka actually happens to be the home of Tonkatsu Ramen. So this place is known for Tonkatsu Ramen. So let's go check it out. This is Ipudu Ramen, one of the most famous ramen restaurants in all of Japan. They've got locations everywhere. They're known for their rich tonkatsu broth. Rich, creamy, perfect on a day like today. Let's dig in. Ready. I've ever <laughs> With our bellies full, let's head to the Tokyo Sky Tree. All right. In Tokyo, sometimes cash is king, especially for buying subway tickets. With Google Maps as our guide, getting around is a breeze. Google Maps isn't just for finding your way. It can also help you buy subway tickets. Just enter your destination, follow the steps, and Google Maps will tell you exactly which line to take, where to transfer, and even how much it costs. Simply match the information on the map with a ticket machine, grab your ticket, and you're good to go. But if you've got an iPhone, loading money onto your Passmo with Apple Wallet is even easier. Just tap and go. No need to worry about loose change. In the future, we would definitely prefer this method. The key to having a successful trip anywhere you go is flexibility. So we had a plan, didn't work out exactly how we wanted it to. That's okay because we still got in a ton of stuff. So not enough time for a shabu shabu, but a little too early for a sky tree because you have to go at the time that you got your ticket. So we decided why not take a lie down right under the sky tree until we can go inside. Let me show you what we're looking at. The Sky Tree serves as both a broadcasting tower and a popular tourist destination. Since its opening in 2012, the Tokyo Sky Tree has become one of Japan's most popular tourist attractions, drawing millions of visitors each year. Something we missed out on but would absolutely do next time is dining at the base of the Tokyo Sky Tree at one of the Korean barbecue restaurants. It's more than just a meal, it's a total experience. We grabbed a quick ice cream before heading into the Sky Tree. So we pre-bought our tickets, which if you pre-order, you get 400 yen off of your tickets, and then you take your QR code, go to the machine, and then it prints out the tickets. Whoa. How do we get up there that fast? I can't feel my ears. <laughs>
is we are at the top of the sky tree, which is the Tembo Galleria. We're 450 meters in the sky. You can get individual tickets for the Tembo deck or the Tembo Galleria, or you can get a combo. The Tembo deck is 350 meters and the Tembo Galleria is 450 meters in the sky with views that are unbeautiful. Fun fact, on a clear day, you can also see Mount Fuji, which is crazy. All right, as fun as this day has been, it's time to head back to the airport. Oh. We're on a tight schedule and we've got a jet and get to Singapore. We had the best time today. So if you're limited on time, definitely still go to the Sky Tree, but go down below. You'll see a ton of Korean barbecue places. They've got all these beautiful string lights, music, the atmosphere is electric, and you can see the whole tower and they do a light show with the music. So if you're limited on time, definitely still go there. And then you can do that for free seeing it. You can't go up in there for free, but at least you can experience the whole atmosphere and the food and there's a ton of shops also. I mean, a ton of shops. So anything your heart desires, they've got it there. So definitely 10 out of 10, you gotta go there. All right guys, we made it with just enough time to make it to the lounge to get something to eat before we board for Singapore. Singapore, we're still, we're a little tired. What? an awesome layover that was. You know, from the Ipidu Ramen to the Sky Tree, that was the best nine hour layover we've had in Tokyo. Just be ready to, to change plans and enjoy it. Enjoy it all. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'd yeah. love to answer all of your questions. Absolutely. Until next time, stay curious. Love you guys.